The EPA says that many of the water systems that we use for drinking water are contaminated with what are called forever chemicals. Not only are they harmful to our health, mitigation options are costly. Kristen Goodwillie with our Northwest Environment team has got what pollutants have been found and where. In a massive countrywide study, the EPA now has an idea of which harmful contaminants called forever chemicals or PFAS are found in public water systems. This is just the first wave of reporting across the country and it's only about 15% of the of the sites that are being tested. Phil Thompson is a professor of civil and environmental engineering at Seattle University. He says these contaminants are organic chemicals in fire retardants or nonstick coatings on pots and pans. It turns out that if you are exposed to them, they can be very toxic. According to the EPA, exposure can increase certain cancer risks, among other ailments. Really, if you can measure PFAS, that's going to be problematic health-wise. The EPA highlighted water systems that detected contaminants above its minimum reporting level. We created a map showing varying degrees of color with the darker shades indicating the highest levels. Some of the worst contaminant levels are at JBLM, Artendale near Gig Harbor, and Sammamish Plateau water. Unfortunately, it's something that we found in our water in 2016 and we've been trying to understand what we need to do to address it. According to General Manager Jay Krause, the levels tested for Sammamish Plateau water are below Washington state guidelines. The EPA has proposed regulations, but nothing official and treatment options are costly. The challenge is though just making sure a $40 million investment accomplishes what we need to to meet these regulations. It's a financial burden Thompson says will impact everyone. It's going to be a very costly uh, costly development for the for the for the whole country in terms of you know the amount of treatment that's going to be required or just switching people to different water sources is going to be very expensive. And we have an interactive map on our website so you can click around and see what was found in our area. Just head to this story on our website, ktvp.com.